Hello and welcome back everyone to the anubavtrainings.com. In this series of sessions, we are learning about authentication and authorization concepts in SAP Cloud Foundry business technology platform. By far in our CAPM application, we have enabled the authorization and also authentication. For the authorization, we have also tested it locally in our business application studio. In this session, we will see how can we create a role in SAP BTP to secure our application and grant permission for certain scope to the business user. So as our scenario, which we have started in the last session, we have discussed already about the concept of how can we enable the security and configure the roles into SAP business technology platform. So what we have done by far was we have created a CAPM application. And in this application, we have also created the configuration for local testing of roles. Now I have enhanced my CAPM application with also the authentication for production with using the strategy JOT. And for the UAA strategy, we are using Access UAA. We have also created also the configuration into the package.json file to make sure that the CDS would need this UAA module to be able to uh, authorize the users. Please remember we have access security JSON already in place, which is expecting a bank name property for the viewer role. And that is the role which we are relying upon uh, to, to give access to the user to see employee information for certain bank. So now let's go ahead and see how can we build a role in SAP BTP. So I've already deployed this application. And right now, when I try to access the employee set entity set for the catalog service, I get a forbidden issue. As a next step, what I'm going to do is I will go back and create a role in SAP BTP. So to do that, we switch over to SAP Business Technology Platform uh, account. And here we go to the sub account to the security configuration. And here we will create now a new role collection. So let's create a new role collection. So I can say SAP BTP role collection to grant access to my user. And now before I get in into the role collection, uh, I can go into the roles and now I can grant permission for the viewer role which we deployed in Cloud Foundry to see data for a particular bank. So let me open that and here you can see our viewer role and it is asking me to now assign the value of my attribute. So I click on it and I choose my role name. Now, right now we didn't add it into a role collection. That's why system is proposing me no role name and I have to manually type a role name. So it's better first we go back and configure our role collection. So we will just go inside and add inside our BP role collection. Add a role for our application which is this one and I will just add both the roles here. Yes, and now I will also sign it to my user ID. So let me enter my user ID. Select and save. And now we need to assign the scope for the viewer. So let's go inside the viewer. And we can just assign the bank name. So you can see I've already created an entry for bank name Bank of London which means if I just go back and try to refresh my data for my employee set, last time I was getting forbidden, but now I would be allowed to see the data for Bank of London for all the employees who are having a bank account in Bank of London. So once again, I will authenticate myself and I will just enter my username password, connect to the application and voila, you can see now I have got data for Bank of London itself. So this way we can control a role level security of the data into SAP BTP account. You can control both the authorization and authentication across multiple scopes through the concept of Cloud Foundry security. I hope this gave you a perspective of how we can secure our data into SAP BTP account. For a detailed training on SAP BTP with cloud application programming model, feel free to join our course on anubavtrainings.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
and I will see you in the next session.